and when automation really kicks into focus in you know however x many years when millions and millions of jobs go away we're going to be confronted with this new world and this is what a lot of people are very concerned with when they talk about the next couple of decades yeah. they're they're very concerned with automation and they're very concerned with auto, art, artificial intelligence mm -hmm. artificial intelligence and that it's not just going to take away skilled or unskilled labor, but it's also going to take skilled labor away. There's going to be no one answering phones anymore. It's all going to be computers. They're very close to being able to do yeah. that right now, yeah. where a computer will have a legitimate conversation with you, and you don't even know that you're talking to a computer. It's crazy. It's are you, crazy. Are you concerned with sentient artificial intelligence and in terms of its military applications, in terms of um, there's there's a lot of concern that what we're experiencing now with uh, particularly when you talk about Yemen with drones yeah with these piloted things that what you're going to have is autonomous yep. weapons in the future where you're just going to be able to literally release killer robots i'm very concerned uh, about artificial intelligence and how quickly this technology is evolving uh with very little um oversight or even understanding uh, at the highest levels of our government about both what the opportunities are that it presents and also the very real dangers of this technology being weaponized and how quickly that could spiral out of control. What could we do to stop artificial intelligence from spiraling out of, spiraling out of control? In particular, what could we do to stop autonomous weapons? So what a lot of people are really concerned with. Did you ever watch that show, Black Mirror? Mm -mm. It's a great show. It's on Netflix. But a lot of it is dystopian stories about the future. Mm. And one of them is called Heavy Metal. And it's about this woman being chased by these little intelligent robots that are trying to kill her. Yeah. It's terrifying because this is something that could be implemented in the battlefield. Yeah. And we could have, if we don't do it first, we could have a situation where our soldiers are in some sort of a situation facing off against robots. Yeah. It sounds like a science fiction movie, but it's not that far away from reality. Yeah. I think this is one of those things that um, kind of leaders in the global community have to recognize that some, some kind, just, just like with nucle the nuclear arms race, once you start on this race, I mean, there are no winners in a, in a nuclear war. Everybody loses in that scenario. And I think there's a similar approach that needs to be taken to um, the dangers of artificial intelligence being weaponized and coming together as a kind of a global community to say, hey, this is something that uh, in could potentially, if put in the wrong hands, endanger all of us and find the best approach um, to, to deal with that. Uh, because my concern is, as we see with so many of these other weapon systems, if it's just one country that's doing it, then you have, well, my gosh, if everyone else is weaponizing, but we're the only ones who are doing the right thing, then is that creating a situation where our national security is at risk or our troops are at risk? So I think it's one of those things that, uh, you know, the, this world is a small place uh, and we would have a shared interest with leaders of other countries in the world to provide the right kinds of checks and balances um, on this technology so that it doesn't become something that's a danger to humanity. And the real fear would be that someone would not think that at all. Yeah. That there would be uh, whatever country, figure out what the country is, that some country would be like, fuck you, we're going to do whatever we want. We're yeah. gonna, look, you guys took over this world because of nuclear power. We're going to take over this world because of autonomous weapons and artificial intelligence. Yeah. And we're going to design it to go kill Americans. Yeah, I think that that's why it's important that we take, uh, that we take a global approach to this yeah and uh, because otherwise I think you do you end up with that scenario and where you just you know this race begins and then there's no way to stop it and it's too late